Hello, my name is Jade Hilton and I'm an artist from Brighton. And today I am here with Little Green Pig to bring you a mini masterclass in clay. Now clay isn't one of my usual mediums that I use to create art. I usually use photography or poetry, maybe illustration or digital artwork. But what I really love about clay is the fact that you can really create something straight from your imagination. You have no limits and no boundaries really, except for maybe the sheer quantity you might want to use. Now with every form of art medium, you always have your very specific, maybe quite fancy tools. With clay, you do have some very specific tools you can use, but you can find tools in and around your house that can create the same, maybe even better outcomes. From experience in modeling for artists who sculpt, I have learned that one of the best techniques that you can use is not to add to your final piece, but to try and use as much clay in one go and build out from it. So pulling your features out, pulling your nose, pushing the cheekbones up, really sort of thinking about the anatomy and the shape of the skull this will give you a much better, um, clearer idea of how to produce your head to then bring the details out, your nose, lips, cheekbones. Another important thing to remember, which might seem quite strange for me to say, but when you're starting to work on the eyes, you don't want to add the eyes, like I was saying before, what you actually want to do, and you don't want the eyes to almost be balls. You can create balls, but what you want to do is you actually want to dip inside to create the socket first and then start building your eyes out from there. Another tip when you're looking at creating sculptures of heads is to remember the top of your ears run parallel to the corner of your eyes and the bottom of your ears run parallel to the bottom of your nose. There are clear lines that you can work with. Now with your finished piece, it's time to leave it to dry. Leave it for, depending on how much clay you've used, about a week, remembering to turn it to make sure that each side dries equally. What you can then do once it's dried is paint it. The best paint to use for this is acrylic. There are lots of other fun things that you can do with clay at home as well. Why not have a look on the internet at some fun things that you can create whilst at home? Thank you for joining me, Jade Hilton, with Little Green Pig's mini masterclass.